There are many ways to deflate another person's pride. Sometimes we do this with a sarcastic comment or a reference to a past mistake. Take the story of two teachers. One teacher, in an effort to get his talkative class under control just before holiday break, shut off the lights in the classroom and in a whisper told the class a gripping story. In seconds, the room fell silent and he ended up having one of the most productive days he'd ever had in his classroom. When he told his colleague what happened, the colleague said, you shouldn't have to do tricks to get your kids under control. Maybe you're just a little too desperate for them to like you. And just like that, the teacher who was feeling like teacher of the year went to feeling totally incompetent. In just a few words, his colleague undermined his confidence and implied that he was a poor teacher who didn't command respect. Here's another example. A teenage boy walks in proudly and says, I passed my driving test. His friend responds smugly, oh well, I guess the third time's a charm. Instead of getting to enjoy the accomplishment of passing the driving exam, now the boy is reliving his two previous failures. That's Onas Devarim. Whether it's an overly critical remark or a sarcastic comment, when we say these things, we're failing to share in someone else's happiness. When someone is offering to share the taste of their success, our best response is to graciously taste it along with them and appreciate its sweetness. That's the Jewish concept of nachas, the feeling of pleasure we get when hearing about someone else's success or accomplishment. Although there's no word for it in English, Nachas is an important attitude to embrace. It helps us avoid onas devarim and instead give off positive vibes precisely when people are needing them the most. In the third week of Clean Speech St. Louis, we'll talk about reasons why we are tempted to say onas devarim like this and how we can learn to avoid it. Today, take note of the emotional state of the people you speak to. If you sense that they're on a high, don't burst their bubble. I'm Rafka Kowalski. I'm Sarah Sentel. And, and we, we think, think before we speak. Thank you.